Hello and welcome to this demonstration on how to use the feature called VoiceOver on your iPad. An iPad is a little tablet computer and this is a portable device as you can see. It has a touch screen and by touching the icons on the screen, so these are the various different icons, you can execute programs, you can summon up a camera, etc. But one of the nicest features, and particularly anyone with a vision impairment or with no vision at all, they can use a feature called VoiceOver. So you can either ask Siri to turn on VoiceOver, but currently my internet has gone down, so I don't have access to Siri right now. So I'm going to triple click the home button on my iPad. Now the home button is just here in the center of the iPad. So I'll just go one, two, three. And you can hear it saying VoiceOver on. With VoiceOver on, I can now use what's called a swipe gesture to go from left to right. So this means I'm going to place my finger anywhere at all on the screen and just swipe. Calendar, Monday, subjects, camera, contacts, clock, maps, videos, notes, reminders, reminders, photo booth, settings. One new item. I'm just going to move it a little so that you can see settings. You'll notice that when it comes, uh, let me just go back one again. Settings. One new item. Double tap to open. It says double tap to open. So now I simply, if I need to access the settings on my iPad, because I would like to maybe change the settings somehow on my iPad, I would double tap anywhere on screen. And you will settings. hear a little chirp sound. And so the settings app now opens. And again, to navigate through my settings app, I want to go to the general option in my settings app. So again, I'm going to swipe from left to right. When you're learning the swipe gestures, just don't be too heavy handed on your screen. So it's very, very light. You barely touch the screen at all. You don't actually have to press anything, even though the word touch would suggest that you need to press something. You actually, you just, you barely touch it at all and very lightly and very gently. And a swipe gesture is you would start at the left side and then just swipe across just a little part of your screen towards the right side and then lifting your finger up very quickly as you're coming off. So down left, swipe up quickly to the right. Let's try it. I need to go to general. General, heading, airplane mode, off Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, off notification center, control center, do not disturb. General, one update of sounds. General, one update available. Selected. General, one update available. Now, once I have general selected, all my general options are here on the right side of the screen. So I now want to come down through my right. general options. Right. I can either run my finger down the screen. Software update. Siri. Spotlight sir. Text size. So I'm just going down the right side of my screen, starting at the top. But I can also use my left and right swipe gestures. So right to left. Text size. Spotlight search. Text size. Accessibility. Left to right is coming down. So let me hear it again. So I'm going back up. So right to left. Text size. Spotlight search. Siri. Software update. About. Background app refresh. Usage. Mute is alert. Mute. Selected. Use sites. Bullet swipe up. Bullet swipe up. Bullet pinch to the. Use for offer. Multitask in jet. Usage. Button. Mute is available in. Restriction. Passcode lock. Auto lock. Background. Usage. Mute is alert. Mute. Select. Use sites. Switch. Passcode. Auto lock. Background. Usage. Mute is alert. Mute. Selected. Use sites. Bullet swipe. Bullet swipe up to multitask. Bullet pinch to. Use for offer. Multitask. Accessibility. Button. Accessibility. So and I want to go to accessibility and double tap to select. Settings. So you can see here the accessibilities feature within the iPad. They have a lot of really nice accessibility features. They have one called VoiceOver, which we're currently looking at. And this allows us to navigate the screen without having to look at it or without being able to see it. So you're just listening. The next one below that is called the Zoom. So let me try the Zoom. Zoom off. So for those of you that have some vision and the zoom will actually bring us into what's called a magnification mode and a magnification mode. It's actually very good for a lot of people, actually, because when you're working with computers these days, you know, you just get 
you get screen tired eyes. So sometimes everyone at some point needs to magnify the screen a little bit. So what the zoom feature does, it enables you to turn on that zoom feature. Um, we'll just come down one more. Invert colors. Invert colors. A lot of people have an intolerance to sort of that blue light that you get from these devices. So the invert colors just brings all that down. It's not quite as glary and so on. And so let's go. Speak selection. Speak auto tag. Automatically speak or larger type. Oh, old text. At any point, I can come out of here and I can just press my home button down at the very bottom of the screen again. And what that does, it brings me back to my home screen again. So I'm just going to pause the video for now. 